The Philippines has taken a significant step in its defense strategy by deciding to retain the U.S.-developed Typhon missile system following joint military exercises. This decision is a direct response to China's growing assertiveness in the South China Sea and reflects Manila's commitment to enhancing its defensive capabilities. The presence of the Typhon, officially known as the Mid-Range Capability MRC system, has sparked diplomatic tensions particularly with Beijing, which views the deployment as a potential shift in the regional power balance. The introduction of the MRC missile system marks a strategic advancement for the U.S. Army's capabilities in the Indo-Pacific region. Originally developed as the Strategic Mid-Range Fire System, SMREF, and later renamed the Typhon, this system is part of the U.S. Army's Long Range Precision Fires, LRPF, Modernization Initiative. It employs the Raytheon-manufactured Standard Missile 6, SM-6, and Tomahawk missiles, both modified for ground launch by Army units. Designed to strike targets beyond the range of the Precision Strike Missile, PRSM, but below the upcoming long-range hypersonic weapon, LRHW system, the MRC system significantly enhances the Philippines' military reach. The PRSM has a maximum range of about 300 miles, 480 kilometers, allowing for precise targeting of enemy positions. In contrast, the Typhon extends this range to approximately 1,725 miles, 2,775 kilometers, providing robust capabilities for both strategic and tactical operations. Equipped with Raytheon's SM-6 missiles, the MRC system is versatile for offensive and defensive missions and has been adapted for ground launch, enhancing its flexibility across various military scenarios. It also includes Raytheon's Tomahawk cruise missiles, known for their long-range precision strike capabilities. Initially deployed during the Selachnib military exercises, the Typhon system was expected to return to the U.S. afterward. However, both the Philippine and U.S. armies opted to keep the system in place, with future deployment options still under review. Capable of launching both the SM-6 and Tomahawk missiles, the Typhon extends its range up to 2,500 kilometers, covering areas like the South China Sea and the strategic Taiwan Strait. This capability significantly bolsters the Philippines' defense posture in a complex security environment. For Manila, the Typhon system fills a crucial gap in external defense. Previously, the country lacked the range necessary to counter foreign vessel incursions within its exclusive economic zone. Analysts believe the deployment signals a strengthening of U.S.-Philippine military cooperation, aligning with broader U.S. goals to counter Chinese influence in the Indo-Pacific. As Vina Najibola from Canada's Asia-Pacific Foundation points out, this defense partnership acts as a deterrent against Chinese actions in contested areas, providing strategic advantages for both Manila and Washington to prevent potential military escalation. In response to the Philippines' decision, Beijing has denounced the Typhon's presence, labeling it part of an intensifying arms race. The Chinese government has ramped up diplomatic criticism and military demonstrations, including a recent test of the DF-41 intercontinental ballistic missile, reflecting its concern over perceived increases in U.S. influence in the region. Filipino defense analysts note that this deployment is the first of its kind in Asia, setting a precedent for future defense arrangements between the Philippines and the U.S. military analyst Aaron Jed Rabina suggests that retaining the Typhon could lead the Philippines to pursue additional military acquisitions, reshaping its role in Southeast Asian security dynamics. The evolving security landscape will be tested in upcoming U.S.-Philippine military exercises, including the Commandog drills planned for October, where the Typhon's operational readiness will be further assessed. These exercises allow both militaries to evaluate the Typhon's role in multi-domain scenarios, improving interoperability and strategic coordination. According to Joshua Espina from the International Development and Security Cooperation, the Typhon's capabilities align with Philippine defense priorities, particularly regarding increased Chinese military activity in Philippine waters. 
The presence of the Typhon missile system underscores a convergence of interests between the U.S. and the Philippines in the South China Sea. However, this shift may challenge regional stability. Analysts caution that further Typhon deployments or tests in sensitive areas, such as the Taiwan Strait, could provoke additional Chinese responses, intensifying military posturing in the region. This decision has also drawn attention from ASEAN members some of whom may discreetly express concerns over the risks of an escalating arms race.